Normandy. What do we do on D-Day? Yeah, what did you do? I can't. Honey, you gotta hold it. You gotta hold it up. To what we done on D-Day, we left England at 3 o'clock in the morning. 3.30, I think it was. We landed on a landing barge, and the Marines were running these ducks, you know, these made like ducks. They call them ducks, and they that carry 45 soldiers. And one guy we just took us across the channel, and as soon as we got enough water, we landed in the water about that deep. And, uh, they drop it down, and you get out, and you go on the ground. <clears throat> and the Germans were up here in their pill, you know, all their boxes up across the coast, um, and shooting at the soldiers. And when you got off, um, and we had half of them were in the water, and the other ones were lucky. And I was lucky. And your buddy was in the. Pardon? Al was with you? Al Carrion. I had that guy on my back. Because he was too short, he was about his height, then he drowned. He jumped in the water and sunk with all the stuff on him. I was hanging on to him and getting myself out of there. And they were shooting at us. Yeah. Shooting at us, the hell it was a what? They were shooting at everybody. Just like this, a bunch of soldiers coming through. Yeah. Some got missed and the others got killed. Yeah. And they laid up. They dead out in the water until we could get out the lot of them. The Marines, uh, not the Mar yeah, the Marines, they were uh, riding the boat that was coming in. We call them landing ducks. They had wheels, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a big boat, right? They were supposed to well, come never, right up they on the They never got close enough to get on the ground. Right. They just dropped themselves in the water and opened their front. And everybody dove out and went for it. <clears throat> And the Germans were up there in those pillboxes up there, built to take care of the coast. Yeah, right. But, but then, then we got a lot of our infantry in with us, and uh, they got these, we had these flamethrowers. You know, I guess you don't probably know about them, but they had these big flamethrowers, throw fly. A flame of I here with tanks in them with gas. Yeah, I know about the that. Wall. And they were ahead of us, so they went in the pillboxes and they got the soldiers out. Either you get out or they burn them out. Right. And the, the Germans were coming out of there like flies. But at that time, they were shooting at us, coming down in the water. Christine, and once we, were on the, once we were on the ground, it was raining like hell. Luckily, we start went in as far as we could, and then they were bringing tanks in. They were trying to group all that stuff together. Then we finally got in, maybe about what? I was in maybe 150 feet. We are, you know, up to like three lots yeah. in the in the property. And then, then it was a, a lot of it was. Uh, when they, we had the fighting in the hedgerows, you probably read about it. That was going on for quite a while. And then, uh, I think it was about the third morning, I think. Yeah, I think the third morning, it quit raining. And the airplane, the Air Corps, came in. And they just bombed the hell out of everything. They bombed on the other side, Germans. And uh, that really gave us a chance to take off. Otherwise, we, we were pinned down for a while. The rain, uh, and we were, uh, and those tanks would be pulled in on the ground and they would slip in because it was so wet, so they'd stop. And the soldiers would, we'd crawl under them. They're red hot. It was warm, you know, stay there for, then they'd take off again. And, uh, but when the Air Corps came over, the Germans, they had it from then on. The Air Corps was coming in to flying flights, 100, 150 airplanes at a time. Yeah. And, and canvas it. But we didn't have the, 
the place where we're going to drop a bomb right there, they were doing it with their plane up there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they'd bomb about where they thought they were, mm -hmm. or they knew where they were, but they weren't that perfect right now. Now, if they want to hit that uh, television over there, they'd land right in the middle from up there. Mm -hmm. It would miss, but they miss a lot. Yeah. But they got back far enough that they destroyed the the Germans. They didn't know where they're coming or going. Mm -hmm. you, landed on, you landed on Omaha? Omaha. Omaha Beach? Yeah. For the first beach, right? Right. Right in the center? Yeah, yeah. First then the beach. English landed north of us. And then there was the yeah. Americans landed on Omaha and they landed on whatever they were. Above. <clears throat> yeah. And then, uh, then we got Patton, Third Army came in mm -hmm. with their tanks. And old General Patton, he took, he just raised sick on him. He had them coming, running from all over. So when they were, when you guys were held down for a couple of days, pardon? When you guys were held down for a couple of days, we did were you pinned have to down because we couldn't go no place. They were shooting at you. Did you guys each have your own? And food? the only time, and then, and we couldn't get the Air Corps because it was too, the weather was too bad to fly. Because we had airplanes in England that covered that whole area. But as soon as it quit raining, the air could, it took over. They were loaded with bomb boy and they just bombed the whole works. And they, I, we heard, I don't know, but they wouldn't tell us, but we heard to the security when we get our orders that they bombed a little too early and they killed one of our own boys. But then they, they were just bombing, I guess. If the wind would blow, the bomb would come down and maybe go like this, huh? Right. right. Okay, they were just guessing roughly where we were out of it. Say it was, this was our, we were here, and the Germans were here. They figured they were here bombing. Well, they bombed a little too early. They landed on some of our, I killed a lot of our people. So when you were there, oh, and, and I listened to this Iraq stuff. Every time two kids kill, they tell us about it. They tell you about it when I was, or you weren't alive. <laughs> no, I they tell you wasn't that. around, so I couldn't have heard. Yeah, they killed. Every time they killed two here, they killed fifty thousand over there. That's that's what's bad. They killed over they killed millions of people. In there. Uh -huh. and, you know, and then, then about when we got into. Um, <clears throat> Not quite into Belgium. We had captured a lot of German soldiers, and we kept a bunch of <laughs> captured a bunch of Italians because they were fighting for the Germans, right? And they'd sit on the curb and quit. So we had to pick them up and take them to camp. Well, I got seven of them, seven Italians, and I guess I don't know how I got. They, I was told that we're Italian. We talked to them, and then we want to come with you. Don't take us to the camp. So I said, you know, I said, what are you going to do? He says, we want to be with the American army. So, so I told the captain. The captain said, geez, you can't take a chance. I said, why? These guys ain't going to fight for these guys. He said, well, you want to be responsible for them, right? So I'll take them. So I took these seven of them. And we made KPs out of them. Wow. They washed the dish, everything we had to do for the kitchen, you know, and eat our food. And they loved it. I took them until the end of the war. Really? Yeah. And, uh, but they were there for us because Mussolini changed over to the Germans right. because the Germans was attacking and he was scared. So we were shooting the Italians too. But these, these Italian guys never laughed. They, they, uh, they said, Jesus, we, you guys eat, you know, great. They weren't even eating. They weren't getting no food. So they want to stay with us. So they washed the uh, garbage cans we had for mess kits, you know, to 
dip the water, we start on a fire to get the hot water, dip your mess kit in. Right. That's the only way to clean it. And, um, and we had to make sure the water was boiling so that the stuff would be sterilized. And uh, they washed whatever pots we had and whatever we did, you know, what we could do, what they could do. And they'd help us any place. Dig tr uh, bathroom uh, for the toilets, you know, trench. Do you ever use a trench for a bath? For Camping. Yeah. Camping. <laughs> That's what we did for a long time. For most of the time, during the war. But anyway. Did you ever stay in touch but they with were those good. Italians? Huh? Did you ever stay in touch with those Italians? Did you ever stay in touch with those Italians after no. the war? No. No. Um, when we got the war was over, there we were in, in the borderline of Russia, in what's the name? Up there. Well, we had it, they took us back, and we first got up into. Uh, French pro French area, France, and we started. And they had some old uh, uh, bunks or whatever you want to call them, that with boards to sleep on and barns in Germany and France. The Germans built. We went in there, and we stayed there. When we stood there, the Italians took off. They went to Italy. Went home. They had it home. Yeah. Because yeah. hell, it was just there, you know, close. Mm -hmm. uh, so we stayed in there until we could, we got shipped out. And then they started shipping us out by those uh, battle stars you got. Right. And I had two more of battles that we were in. So they had, they gave us so many points for each battle. And if you were married, and if you had kids here in the United States, you had points. So Al come home just before I did, because oh, he had he, he had was kids. he was married he had and had a, a baby. He had a little yeah Al not much before about a, three weeks something like that. Right. Then I got another ship, but we weren't coming home. We were going to Japan, mm. and the war ended. Go play over there. When the war ended, oh, the we were on the ship going to Japan. Well, we were about a, a day from the channel, the canal, the transfer from the Pacific, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, we got orders the, uh, from the president. You, which? Pardon? Oh, you mean the Panama? Panama? Well, that's Oh, trip. you were over on that side. I was on the what same side? On the East Coast. Yeah, well, we had to get Oh, you're going to go across and then go well, that way to Japan? Yeah. You're going all the way around the world, basically, to get to Japan. Yeah. So. I guess that's the shorter one. We got our orders to report to your closest home port. Right. And the ship boy just went like this. And it took off. Yeah, we came right. home. Well, you're we, landed in, we landed in New York three days later. Wow, that's cool. <clears throat> we were the first ones home. Boy, they were celebrating back there, and everybody was half drunk. And <laughs> he said they were tearing up the ship. They were giving us everything we wanted.